So you saw that the agriculture wire was literally slipping and unable to get into the hot end properly and it was due to its oval shape not the round shape so one of my subscriber commented me on one of my video asking i should do a post processing using this pet machine that i created in last video to make this filament more printable as i was facing the problem that all the time when i have to go for a longer print most of the time what happened is the filament starts slipping and extruder was unable to feed that filament into the hot end and that was a problem and due to which my most of my print used to be failed if i'm using this filament so i thought why not do a post processing and make it rounder and then make it printable and if you don't know what this is so if you are new on this channel so let me tell you it's agriculture why so two months back i uploaded a video on this thing it's agriculture which is used for agriculture purposes like giving support to plants like tomatoes and and grapes which don't have their self-supporting structure or rigidity whatever you want to call it and so I thought I can use this filament for 3d printing purposes as one of my subscriber recommend me to, to check this thing so I thought it's a really great idea it can be a cheaper alternative of the filament but I faced a lot of problem a lot of problem from brittleness to the moisture in this filament and I tried to fix those and now we're gonna fix another problem with this filament in today's video so let's begin okay so the first thing that we're going to need to do is to cut the filament from here in a 45 degree angle like you cut it for your 3d printing purpose and just cut it like this and if you split it a little bit like this that would be much better but i think i don't think you need to do so you just cut it from middle that's uh best thing now you have really thin filament right here that you can easily pass through the nose otherwise it's going to be hard so one so now we have cut this filament now what we're going to do we're going to pass it through this nozzle now switch on your pet machine and set the temperature and right now i set it like 250 because i was trying post processing before recording this video but i want you to go lower because if you go higher this much it's gonna start melting and so what the first thing you need to do is pass it through a little bit through that nozzle and once you start uh, the motor and keep on pulling a little bit of filament and that way you will save yourself from breaking the filament into half like it get really uh, weak when you are trying to reshape the filament so you have to make sure of you start from low temperature and steadily increase it to like 245 to something like that just little below the melting temperature of the filament so what first thing what we're going to do we're going to set the melting temperature pla which is 250 and that's what we're going to set here and then we're going to steadily increase after we pass through and hide our nose our filament to this wheel okay so once i start reaching the desired temperature or you can say initial temperature just pass it through like this little bit don't do it too much and then take a small plier like though you could take the bigger one too that wouldn't be a problem and just you have to put a little bit of force just make sure you don't hurt yourself or it can slip really easily so you have to make sure of that that you don't hurt yourself and you know you can fuck that's what i was talking about so i have to do this again or you can increase the temperature it's gonna give you more smoother pulling because temperature was quite low so let me just increase it a little bit so let me just go to like 225 that would be give a more smoother pull so let me set it to it now there we go so we're gonna try this again so first remove this thing and then we again we're gonna try to pass it through here it's quite hard but try again do it softly take your time and then do it softly let the filament get a little soft and then keep on pulling it's gonna be pretty hard i have to try that again okay so after trying for so long i was able to pass through this filament and now it's reshaping it now it's currently not reshaping because i have to increase the temperature by a bit so it's 235 i'm gonna go to like 250 that's gonna be much better here and there you go and now it's just like 5 or 10 degree below the melting temperature of the pet filament and passing through this bulky nozzle yes i've changed the nozzle previous one was this but i changed with this one because that was much better i would say and it was pretty tricky to like pass through that because it's a round nozzle and that thing is oval shaped so one side is slightly bigger than the diameter of the nozzle that was causing the problem but now it's super simple now you can see the filament is passing through here and now i think we can use this thing for the 3d printing process now because we are reshaping this to a round shape from the oval let me just get back to uh slow you have to make sure it's slow because you want to give it a time so that the heat can remelt the plastic in, in it like in a softer manner and reshape it according to dye which is a nozzle so yeah so we're gonna give it a, a time so that it can like process this whole filament till then have to wait 
okay so you can see i have done like whole spool of this thing as you can see so i rewinded all those things on that uh, pet machine spool then i rewinded this on this spool that that is much better and easier to work with so now let's print something see if this is going to work or not you can see some uh, sparkling type effect i don't know why this happened but this is a post process pt filament are we gonna try this and see whether it's gonna work or not okay so i've 3d printed this long rod it took around like 30 grams of filament and you can see it got little rough texture kind of uneven tone or it is uneven surface finishing yeah it is due to that i mean come on it's agriculture why not the filament so you have to like keep this thing in your mind that you ain't gonna get a perfect smooth quality like a normal filament gives you but still it is printable but actually this filament is kind of brittle like way lot brittle so if this thing falls from your hand believe me it's gonna break so it won't gonna stand even a bit of pressure and if you ask me so what's my final opinion and let me be quick here don't get this filament because like i thought i'm gonna get this filament then i'm gonna put it in a filament dryer and then it's gonna dry and then i can use it for 3d printing purposes but now after adding a post processing process and then again there's like a lot of hectic it's lot i mean there's a lot of things that you need to do to make it printable so i would recommend don't go for this filament stick with your pls stick with your abs stick with your pet g uh, if you want to try it you can try it like i I did but if you are a normal guy thinking about having some cheaper alternative of a filament then it's not for you mate it's not for you because you're gonna lose your mind at the end of the day so that's it for today's video i hope you liked it and this is a final video on this filament so thanks for watching goodbye and do give me more ideas related to 3d printing i would love to make video on those topics too so goodbye